Hey everyone, how are you? Happy Saturday. Um, well, like I said, I just wanted to share this video of um, this album that I made for my aunt's birthday. It was a year ago that she had been uh, diagnosed with lung cancer and um, she is now doing well. It's in remission and so I just wanted to give her a very special album uh, from me that was handmade. Um, I don't think I've actually given her any albums so you know, like I said, I pulled out all the stops on this one. So, um, anyways, it is using the same binding system that I've been using in my last um, couple albums. The My Sister Scrapper um, hinge binding system. I don't know if you can see that very well. But, um, anyways, the album is 5.5 by 7.5. And, um, and the by 5.5 by 7. But the cover is 6 by 7.5. Because I wanted to leave enough... Uh, wiggle room so that way if she set it down none of the embellishments would be um, caught you know or get bent or anything so it has definitely enough space around all the rim and then of course um, I always put the tool on here I don't always but it's always like uh, an extra bonus I, I feel and so um, anyways here is the cover and of course um, all like these uh, little jewel chandeliers and then uh, these roses right here are from Wild Orchid Crafts, and then I have several homemade roses on here. And so, <clears throat> and this uh, little butterfly I actually got at the dollar store. So, um, if you can find anything like this, always stock up on them because it's cheap and it looks really cute. And so, I'll go ahead and show you what the album looks like. And so, in the inside, I actually mod podged it because I didn't want any of the binding to come off. I didn't. You know, I didn't know how this album was going to be treated, but I wanted it to be able to, as you can tell, stand up to whatever. And so, um, anyways, here is the first page. And a lot of these pages um, I embellish with, um, you know, pieces of printed scrap paper and then flowers, leaves, and butterflies. And um, whatchamacallit, and I also actually use lace in this album which I hardly have lace on hand because it's really expensive and you know I don't work at the fanciest job and so <laughs> I try to make do with what I have but the paper collection is from the lace and linen stack from DCWV and all of them are a pocket page so and this is one of my corner stamps that if she wanted to take this out she could but um and this is the back I just left some spots for journaling and these pages were actually made by um, <clears throat> an envelope. I don't know if you can see that. They're made by an envelope. And you just um, cut off the envelope from both sides. And then you adhere it to the hinge binding. <clears throat> okay, so this little fun page opens this way. And then it opens up this way. And so I thought it was really cute. I mean, it's something different that I haven't done. And so I'll show you both pages. And so this one, um, I got this dress form from Nifty Fifties, I believe. And so, um, anyways, this opens up like this. And there's another spot for journaling. All right, and this is just a regular photo mat um, with some <clears throat> with some little fancy. Um, tag or something that I had cut out and then I just stamped it and then put a little banner here and here oops sorry here are these two pages all right and this one I just left a little um sorry for moving the camera I just uh left a little journaling spot and some titles and all these titles I just cut them out on my gypsy so I don't I don't quite I think this one is from the um home accents cartridge it was like an old cartridge and so here's a little pocket page and the best thing I like this pocket about this pocket page is this little envelope right here I actually just made it out of a square piece of paper put a heart in there and um, added some uh, this is a Tim Holtz stamp and so I thought it came out pretty cute um, and so of course I have this little about you um, not sticker, I printed it on cardstock, but it used to be a sticker. And then, 
just a little file folder mini that I had decorated. There we go. And then this page, there's just a little postcard back here with some journaling spot. Oh, come on. And then there's these two tags. Oh, that one seemed to be sticky. And then I just, um, oh, these ones, I guess I got an ink. It must have been really late last night. But you, I had just inked the back of some of my other ones that I had just left blank. And so, and also for this one, I left a little, um, can't really do it with this one, but uh, I left a little corner opening. That way, if she wanted to put something there, it wouldn't, like, completely fall off. As you can see, it's stick sticking pretty well. And so, and I just made this by uh, a regular piece of paper that I had just scored at random marks and then Velcroed shut. And then this was just another regular photo mat that I had used my um, corner punchers on. And then um, made some actually, uh, sorry, I actually made some paper ribbon to go on the bottom of the page. And all these leaves right here, they started out as white paper. And I just used my homemade glimmer mist to, um, to glitter them. Oops, sorry. So... Here's these pages, and this one's a little bit more busier. I like the busier pages, and so I made another little envelope, and it's a file folder, and so that's what it looks like without the tags. And this one, I just stamped it, and I'll see here it is. I had inked it, and this is just a little bingo card that I had used um, my Distress um, sponges, the Dabber sponges on it, and so I thought it gave it a cool look. And actually, what's funny about this, my family loves to play bingo, so there we go. And then this is just a little um, lace pocket that I made, so it looks like that. And I just decorated the trim, and then I found this little cute printable. And I actually thought it fit well with the stack, because on the paper it has a lot of lace and seam binding on it. I know you can't tell, um, but <laughs> because I covered it so much, but... Um, anyways, so that's just, I left that blank in the back because it's just a little photo mat. And just a little library card. And then this is just a tag that I had, um, made with, uh, tags that I cut off from my Cricut. I don't know which cartridge I got it from, but I covered it with paper. Alright, so here we go. And then this one, um, this dress form, I think I got it from... Um, Forever Young, I believe. I don't know. There was two or three different ones that I found within all my cartridges. But anyways, um, this is just a little photograph picture that I found. And I printed it on brown cardstock. And then just left that um, blank in there. And then there's this photo mat. Of course, with the titles. Um, and then, you know, a little banner with my Tim Holtz sticker. Or my Tim Holtz stamp, sorry. Alright, sorry I'm trying to make this video as quick as I can. And so here's the last page. And um, this one actually I used my lace trim on it and then um, adhered this cardstock to it. And it actually, I'll show you what the, this front looks like because it's a little bit busy. And then anyways, you just open it up and it's just like a little journaling spot. And so anyways... That is the whole album. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope my aunt enjoys it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Bye.